Hi everyone, Miss Sully here from Learn to Grow. Today we're going to be making a kaleidoscope craft. So for those who remember those toys, um, I was always fascinated with them and I love looking through um, the tubes and watching all those different colors and shapes take place as you um, point it towards the light. So um, anyway, I will show you the stuff that you will need, but one note about the kaleidoscope and how it works is because light usually travels straight, in the, straight into the empty space and when it reflects off uh, certain objects, um, and off the mirror that's inside the kaleidoscope, it will create these different images and patterns um, inside uh, the other end of the tube. So for this project, we're going to be using a report folder for the reflection or to cause a reflection instead of a mirror. So you'll get a report folder like the ones at school, um, the thin plastic, and you will be cut, we'll be, you'll be cutting this into uh, eight inches long by four inches. And I already drew on the lines with a wet erase marker, or you can use um, a washable markers if you want to. So that's where you're going to be folding this into a triangular tube, um, and then you'll have an, a quarter of an inch left to fold in and tape it together. So what you'll be doing is you want to measure a quarter of an inch wide um, for each section, and you'll be folding it like this. quarter of an inch left so it would look like so you're making a triangular tube out of this to put inside your paper towel tube so it would be kind of look like that and then we'll tape it together to secure it so you'll have a triangular tube like that so but let me show you what you'll be using so you want to grab a uh, paper towel tube and you'll be cutting this eight inches in length which is the same length as your report folder triangular tube that's going to go inside the paper towel tube. And make sure you have a pair of scissors on hand, ruler, a pen or a dryer or wet erase or washable marker, some tape or glue. I'll be using tape because um, I think it, it would work better on my heavy um, paper here, wrapping paper that would cover the tube. Some uh, A piece of black construction paper. You'll only need a small piece since you're going to be just tracing the um, tube onto this, which will cover one end of the tube. A uh, piece of wax paper and some plastic saran wrap. So you'll need probably just only about four inches by four inches of both the saran wrap, uh, plastic and, and the uh, paper, uh, wax paper, sorry. <laughs> tongue twi um, tongue tied. And so you're gonna also gather some shiny objects that you have around the house. Uh, you can use paper clips or if you have those uh, jewelry, plastic jewelry stuff, I'll show you, give you a better look here. Sequins, um, any shiny objects. Perfect. And I trace this uh, circle from the tube, paper towel tube that will go on one end of it. So we'll tape this. So this is going to be the piece where you're going to be looking through the hole. We'll have to poke a small hole. So now we'll just tape this down. And don't worry about it not being so neat because you're gonna be putting your um, shiny wrapping paper around it to make it look nice and pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, use a pen and poke a hole carefully. So this will be the end that you'll be looking through on your kaleidoscope there. Next thing is we're gonna put in our shiny little jewels and sequins. So what you'll do is uh, you'll get your plastic wrap, you'll push it down a little bit in the center of the um, plastic report folder that's inside that's full into a, a triangle tube and maybe just push it down about an inch and you'll go ahead and put in your shiny little sequins and jewels um, you can even do maybe if you have some shiny paper clips 
these are just, I'm using the ones that we've had from my uh, daughter's jewelry kits. So, so if you have any um, yeah, shiny paper clips and glittery um, buttons or anything like that, you can put them in there. Okay, and you're going to take your wax paper, you'll put that over and just pull it down gently and we'll put uh, the rubber band around it so it stays in place. So just like this, you'll be cutting the um, excess wax paper and plastic wrap. You won't need all that extra ones. So if you don't want to waste too much of the plastic paper or pla the saran wrap, I mean, and wax paper, you can just cut out maybe a four inch square of each. Mine were a little bigger. So you'll have something like this, and now we're going to cover it up with our uh, shiny green wrapping paper. Oops, this way. I'm just gonna tape it together. And you can decorate this with stickers. If you wanna add more dazzle. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the tape to secure it. So here's the inside of the tube, and I took out the black cover for the eye hole, so you can get a better look. Um, I'm trying to twist it, but it's kind of hard with the camera. I'm, I have right, the camera right almost um, on, on the tube, so I don't want to put too much light in between. Well, we hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Learn to Grow, and that you'll give this uh, kaleidoscope craft a try. And please um, comment or like and or subscribe if you haven't yet. We are on Facebook as well. Our Facebook link is now our uh, channel. And have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.